Hey guys, it's me again. Bounce that ass and drop that ass and pop it like a shootout. I pull them panties down, he's smiling like they bought the food out. I hop up on their face and make my hips go like a luau. I showed you I'm a gay tonight. Today we're gonna be doing another inventory, not inventory, another packing orders video. I will be doing an inventory video. I'm still waiting for some of my inventory for a whole sale to come. When it all comes, I'll do an unboxing. But yeah, it's some of the stuff. Today's Wednesday. I have another bucket of base coming today. A 30 pound bucket came yesterday and I ordered another one. So the other one comes today. And then I have my lip gloss tubes for wholesale and then empty tube wholesale. All that stuff's supposed to come tomorrow. So then I'll record another video tomorrow. But today we're just gonna be packing orders. And I'm gonna show you guys some new things added to the website too. We have our packs. Because I have lash packs already, but you know, I keep seeing people doing you can smell the flavoring from my lip gloss out of the bag. That's how good it smells. I keep seeing people doing like these like packs and they put like candy with it. So I was like, mm, let me try it out. So I did. We have two. We have a pink one and we have a blue one. And if there's any other colors that you guys want me to make, just leave them in the um, comment section and I'll definitely do those. I'm gonna go get the um, orders because they're out there in the living room. And I'm gonna get some boxes and then we're gonna start packing. I'm only doing nine orders today because most of them are wholesale and then orders that you, people that ordered before. Yeah, let me go get the stuff because I'm talking. To okay, you. I also forgot to tell you guys that I am a Versagel vendor now. So we do have 1.5 pound buckets and we have three pound buckets as well. But our three pound buckets, you're, when you, if you order, you just get two 1.5 and it'll equal three pounds. Because I've been searching for like a three pound bucket, but I keep finding five pounds and it doesn't make sense to buy a five pound bucket and only fill it up to three pounds because then it'll look halfway empty and then y'all gonna be complaining so it's better if i just send you two of these and if you weigh both of them together it equals three pounds because that's what it is and we heat seal the buckets because we don't want it to spill like i don't want nobody to tell me oh my bucket was open when they got it nothing like that so baby girl it's heat sealed and you have to peel the seal off then open the bucket and then i just heat seal my business card at the top too just you know and i'll put a clip in of the orders that i did last week because and when I put when I release these buckets, they sold out in two days. So I just restocked it and somebody ordered a three pound bucket and then I have this order for the one pound bucket and we're just gonna ship it. And we ship them in these small priority boxes so you get it in two days. And yeah. So yeah, first of all, I believe. And now let's get into the packaging. Okay. My head's cut off again because my tripod just doesn't want to work with me. But I already started, I packed this, I packed one of these orders last night, actually. But this order was from our pink friday sale so she ordered 50 lip scrubs wholesale and then she ordered um some of our empty tubes so this is how i packaged it i put them all in like their own little boxes just like this and then i'm using the are these the tubes or are these the lip scrubs i'm using the i'm using the bigger size priority box to so fit it all and let me find her name on my shipping labels believe here it is okay this is her the label but yeah if you need lip gloss base check out our website we um they sell out really quickly so if you want one i suggest you have to get it soon because when it's sold out i don't know like how long it's taking to restock because my mom um she's managing my money now since she keeps claiming i spend too much money like buying stuff so she's like literally i already purchased all the inventory for july and then that's it like when it sells out it sells out and i'm not allowed to like buy anything else so if the base sells out i can't restock it until the following month that's why i suggest if you want it get it while it's in stock because i'm not gonna be I'm constantly buying stuff like once I buy the inventory for the month that's it and there's some stuff I want to talk about with you guys because people have been really trying me lately which is crazy because like I I don't really have like hate comments or like rude people but I don't know why lately people have been coming at me sideways and I'm a really nice person compared to like how I used to be like I used to be like mean like i was mean really mean but it's like now i'm more of a a more of a, i don't really care what you have to say type of person like i just if you say something to me 
I just like go about my business. Like I don't really dwell on stuff or like argue with people anymore. I just be like, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But this one girl was like, I posted it on my story. Like she messaged me and was like asking if she can have my website. And I'm just like, what? Like, who asks someone if they can have their website? Like, not their website, their Instagram page. Like, mind you, oh, she ordered a bucket of base and lashes. I just noticed that. Let me get the lashes. Lash doll princess, where are you? Oops. Y'all, my labels on my lashes are finished, so I'll be having to look at the lashes to know the difference. This princess. But yeah, I was just like, who asks to have to like, and mind you, she wasn't even trying to buy my page. She was like, can we trade pages? Like, I would have had a little bit more respect if you was offering me some money. But sis, you was just trying to take my page for free. Like, mind you, she has 19K. So it's like, why would you want my page? And I barely, I just hit 7K the other day. You want my page, I have 7K and your page has 19K. Like, girl what that doesn't even make sense and she was like oh because um i should have made a separate business page when i started my business i shouldn't have merged her personal page with her business page and i'm like what that gotta do with me like you started your business how you want to start your business like don't be feeling don't try to ask for my page now because your page is oversaturated with pictures of yourself and you want to promote your business better like if you want some promo you can get some promo but i'm not about to give you my business page you know how hard it was for me to get to 7k like from october when i started my business that first um video i posted y'all might as well be i don't even know what because y'all can't even see what i'm doing so this is kind of stupid okay i don't know if the tripod's gonna start sliding down yep it's sliding i don't know why it does that like i'll put it one way and it'll just like it'll just end up like that like i don't know why it doesn't just stay how I put it it's still moving at this point I don't know what to do but I was just like why would you try to buy my page like that's kind of it's kind of weird not even buy like asking to trade pages basically and it's just like I work so hard to get to where I am like, why would I just give you okay I'm done why would I just give you all my hard work like what who does that and then she started talking about oh i'm a nasty business owner i'm a negative person like all this stuff. and i'm like how am i negative because i don't want to give you my page like you sound stupid you sound real stupid and the whole time like i was being so respectful like i wasn't even being rude to her i didn't cuss her out i didn't call her names Oops. i literally was respectful as ever and mind you i could have been saying all types of stuff because you're literally coming at me all types of way i literally could have been saying all types of stuff to her but no i didn't do that because that's not the type of person i am anymore and it's just like now i'll be feeling like people just be trying to take advantage of me because i'm nice we're gonna do this order for miss molly she ordered i get like custom packaging so bad but everywhere I look, it's, like, so expensive. Like, it's, like, a 100 boxes for $370. Like, how am I going to make profit from that? Like, that means I'm going to have to charge more just to make profit on the amount of money I spend on boxes. Like, that's the reason why I haven't bought them yet. Because I'm just, like, I don't want to charge people more for, for just because I'm, I have nicer packaging. Like, I just don't see the point. But... Y'all, once I find somewhere that's cheap, best believe I'm getting custom packaging. Cause I'm tired of ordering white boxes and then seeing the whole world using white boxes. Now, mind you, when I started using these, literally, I literally haven't seen anyone else using these. Like, and then as soon as I started posting my videos and it was going viral, like 50,000 views on Instagram, then the next day the whole world started using these boxes and it's just like, I hate them now. Like, I literally hate these boxes now. Like, every time I see these boxes, I get mad. Like, I hate it. But it's like, this is something I can do because I have so many of them. But once I finish having all these boxes, I'm about to look for some new packaging. Because it's just like, whenever you try to be original, it's always somebody just copying you. And it's like, dang, 
why can't people think on their own like it's not that hard to come up with packaging like i'm not saying i'm the first person that started using this that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying when i started using it i didn't see anyone else doing it and when i started after i started posting it then it was just new business after new business coming out with it i'm just like oh my god i just wanted to be different and now my stuff looks like y'all stuff because everybody wants to do the same thing and mind you people didn't have these rose gold tops everybody has like the hot pink ones or silver i wasn't seeing no one with the rose gold top then all nowhere the whole world has the rose gold top and i'm just like okay this is iridesa these just i love these tubes they're like so cute but not everybody has it so i don't even like them anymore but mind you when i ordered these a lot of people didn't have them it's just that my vendor literally took 12 years to ship it to me like so by the time i actually received it like the whole world already had it but rosie or gloss she ordered rosie or pear wrinkle and iridesa it's just like i just wish people would be more creative with their packaging like it's not every day copy someone like it's really not that hard to come up with your own ideas like it's not like i'm not saying people copied me but when i posted these boxes everyone was in my messages asking where'd you get it from? where'd you get it from? where'd you get it from meaning they didn't have it and out of nowhere everyone just found the boxes started posting it and it's just like i hate i literally hate my packaging now because everyone has it it's like it's not cute to me anymore like i can't find my labels there they are. it's just it's just not cute to me anymore and it's like it's really upsetting because like i threw away all my bubble numbers just so i could have nice packaging like and it's like oh, at this point the only way to be different is to have custom packaging because obviously everybody can't afford it and everybody everybody's won't look the same because everyone's logos and stuff are different so literally that's my only way of sticking out at this point is to get custom packaging because keeping these white boxes and the whole entire world has them now it's just like oh god i hate it and i never thought like oh there's already a logo on here okay let me just find another gloss and stick it on okay this gloss doesn't have a label can't waste my labels it's just like oh, so here are the three glosses she ordered let me get the logos to the front that's how they look and i just put them in white bags seal it up put it in the box then i add some confetti well i don't add confetti at the top i fold it over I'm really sorry you guys can't see this but i don't know what else to do i don't know about like this i fold it over and then i use some a sticker to stick it on and then I add confetti. And a business card at the top. Fold it over. Oh, wait. I forgot her receipt. Label. This is the order. I already packed it up. I just don't know what's the order name. So this is. The last name is Williams. So where's that? At? I'm gonna put hers right here. Since I already packaged up, we're just gonna do that one next. And oh my god, guys, if you order from me, please make sure your address is correct. Like I cannot deal with people with the wrong addresses anymore. Like literally, I'm not dealing with it anymore. Like if you put the wrong address, it doesn't get delivered to you. When it gets shipped back to me, you're gonna pay for shipping again to get your package. Or you just won't receive it because refunds, we don't do refunds over here. There's, there's no refunds. So, once, if you don't put the correct address, you better pray to God that you can call the post office to pick it up. Because it's, I'm not being rude or nothing like that, but you guys don't understand. Shipping is literally $9. Like, I pay $9 to ship these things to you. And it's like, why would I, why should I have to pay extra because you decided to put the wrong address? Like, you're most of you guys are adults that are ordering so there's no way you should be putting the wrong address like i understand if you make a mistake but when you get the email confirmation of your order it shows you the address that you put so if the address is wrong at that point you should email me and tell me because if you email me right after you place the order and tell me your address is wrong i can correct it because i haven't shipped it yet 
But if the order is already shipped and then you're emailing me saying the address is wrong, it's like, what, what do you want me to do? Like, you waited till your package was shipped to your house before you emailed me to tell me the address was wrong. Like, there, there's literally nothing I can do at that point. But people don't understand that and they think that I'm, I just want to hold their package and it's like, Girl, why would I want to keep all this inventory in my house? Like, I I bought it to sell it to get rid of it, not to just be keeping it in my house. Like, you put the wrong address, like, what do you want me to do? Like, our jewelry, most of our anklets are sold out. I think this is, like, one of the last ones that I'm doing right now. And I just bought these jewelry cards on Amazon because I didn't, I wanted to get custom ones, but then I realized jewelry is not, like, a big thing I sell kind of like a once in a while thing so i was like there's no point in me investing a lot of money in something that i don't i'm not gonna sell for the long run so this is how this anklet comes with two pieces it's like a blank one and then it comes with the with the butterfly piece so it's like two separate anklet, anklets that you wear which i love this is like the, my favorite one that i sew and it just looks like that when you get it and of course, I put my logo at the bottom. I just have to find my stickers. I'll just, you know, stick that bad boy on here and it shows up perfectly. And then with this thing, it came with like the plastic wraps, which I love because I don't even know what these are called, but it came with it. So then slide all the jewelry in like that. Slide it on down, slide it on down, and then it looks like that. Ta! -da! It's gorgeous. And I just peel the plastic off. Then I seal it so it doesn't move. And then it's like a anklet in there like that. Fold this paper over. Get a sticker. Get a sticker. Where's my cutting? Add some confetti, get a business card, put that on top, then you stick their label on the front, but I'm going to do those later. And then, some of these orders are wholesale lip glosses, but the lip gloss is out there, I forgot to bring it in here. Okay, this one's the wholesale last samples. So with last samples, my vendor sends the samples. Um, they come in random boxes because they are samples. So she just puts them in whatever boxes she feels like putting them in. So this lady's order, she put in a lot of different color boxes. I don't even know why she picked this many colors. She should have just picked like one color. I don't know why my vendor is doing that. But as you can see, the lashes will come in different color boxes. And these are all the styles that she chose. With the samples, you get to choose 10 styles. You can choose 10 styles or or one style and just get 10 pairs of it. It's up to you. But but if you do want a specific color box, like the holographic box, you can put that in the notes. But there's not a box color option. So she just, my vendor just puts them in whatever boxes she wants. And I can't wait to move and stop. And I'm going to a new school, guys. I might do like more vlog type videos. That's how it looks. I might do some more vlog type videos when I get to my new school. But I don't know if I'm going to class, y'all, because the, cor <coughs> the coronavirus is, like, coming back to life again. And I'm not trying to die. I have a business to run. So I might just be doing online classes but still be at school. But I don't know if I trust going outside and going to class. Especially because most of the classes I'm in have, like, 100 people in there. So it's like, <laughs> who's going to die? Not me. Okay, so it looks like that. I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna put the money boxes at the bottom because I don't really like how these look. And then these, this box color is actually really cute. She chose like some pretty shades of pink. I just don't know why she chose so many shades of pink. Like, I love my vendor, but she be doing some stuff that don't be making sense to me. Like, girl. Aww. Here's how it looks. And just, I just fold it over. I think I'm put some confetti on the inside. Okay. 
now we're gonna fold it over and I, when I do it, I make one side longer than the other. So when I fold it, like it'll meet in the middle if you get it. I don't really know why I do that, but I just do that. Fold it over and see it meets in the middle perfectly. And then you get a sticker. Oh my God, I keep pulling, I keep pulling the whole roll out. And you get a sticker, stick it on, it says thank you. Then we get our wholesale business cards. Which they don't even say whole, so I just like it because it got my face on it. And then we just stick that bad boy on the top right there. And then close the box and just hope the business card don't move around. Which it will. But there, I got it in the middle for right there. And then you just drop this box in there. I can't believe it fits perfectly. And then her name is this. Let me find her label. We just put that in there on the top and we put it again. Close the box. Where's my tape? Close the box. Okay. I might pause the video because I want to take pictures of me putting the whole solo gloss order together. Because she ordered a hundred glosses, so I gotta get a big box to put it in. One ordered a hundred and one ordered ten, so. The 100 one, I'm gonna take pictures of it because I like to post my work on my Instagram page just so people that are interested can see all the color options we have. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish packing it in the video. I'm just gonna put the glosses in the box off camera. But yeah, the sticky paper is. Cause I know everybody was yelling at me. I'm like, guys, you should get sticky paper if you don't have to taint them on. And I was like, fine because boy when i told you my comments everybody kept telling me that and i was like y'all i know it's just i don't want to waste money buying sticky paper when i can just use printer paper that's like 99 cents but it does make the process a little quicker but not really it's not like that much quicker let me see the other orders because i know this one is the wholesale this is the wholesale i think i have one more regular okay yeah this is a regular order she ordered pear wrinkle and snow white. Snow white. Periwinkle. And these are all, these are on clearance, so they're only three dollars. So let me just box this up. Ew, this label is coming up. I definitely need to do the order. Take a picture of the order. So I'll post it. I might do like when I'm putting the order together. Her two glosses. Why does the sticky thing keep following me? Okay, here are her two glosses. Uh, sticky paper. Place the bad boys in there, fold it over, sticker, sticker, confetti, confetti, then Card. I don't want to look such a We get a business card. I'm gonna put her receipt. Okay, that's it. And then these two are wholesale orders. So let me go do those real quick and then I'm gonna come back when I'm okay, packed. I just finished doing this wholesale order and it's so freaking pretty. Like, man, this is like one of the prettiest ones I've done so far. Like, it is gorgeous. I don't know, the Snow White gloss is just so pretty. Like, people don't understand. This is a gorgeous lip gloss. And the Pink Panther is just <laughs> gorgeous. But look at my business card. Ew. But yeah, I'm just about to, I don't know how I'm about to close this because the wrap is not really long enough so 
I'm gonna just put another sheet on top just to secure it. And I think the mailman's almost here, so let me hurry up. Okay, so I finished packing orders. And y'all, the mailman gave me one of these things. So we're just gonna, this is actually heavy. This is actually really heavy. I'm just gonna put these bad boys in here. I don't think these are all gonna fit, but oh my god, it's worth the try. Yeah, this was epic fail. <laughs> it doesn't all fit, but some of them do. And then we just got these ones right here. So I need a thumbnail. I'm done with the thumbnail. But y'all, I'm about to. The postman should be here soon so he can take this with him. And I can go about my day and continue doing this hustle order. That one's for 10 glosses. 10, 50, 30, 50, 100. Hold up. Is that 200? Oh my God. I have two 100 orders. I didn't even know. Y'all, I discontinued the 100. You cannot order 100 anymore. Like, I, I cannot. I cannot make 100 glosses anymore. Huh? I cannot. A hundred glosses is not for me. Like that's some people like to do that, but me, <laughs> no. A hundred glosses is not available on the website. Like you cannot order a hundred. And please don't order fifty twice, because that's what this girl did. She ordered fifty twice. She thought she was slick, but this is what I can do. I have to do the order. But y'all, I really hate making a hundred. Like it takes so long. When you make like 25, 30, I can do all those in a day. But when it be a hundred glosses, I just sit there and look like, dang, this is a lot. That's why I don't like to do 100, so 100 is not even available on the website anymore. Please don't click 50 twice, I'm begging you. <laughs> like, I really hate. I can't believe that's 200. She was the last girl that was able to order 100, and then I took 100 off the website. And then the next girl ordered 50 twice. <laughs> but yeah, shop our lip gloss base. I'm gonna put the picture right here. You you know you need some base, so shop with us. And it's affordable, like... And we, all, we have the options for you to get oil infused and non without oil. One, people like to order the bucket with oil already, which is smart because then once you get it, it's ready to use. Just pour your pigment in it and go. So I understand, but yeah. And we only use coconut oil and vitamin E oil in our base. So if you do oil, if you do order oil infused, it's only coconut oil and vitamin E oil. That's it. There's nothing else in it. And yeah, don't forget to shop our skincare. It's only been out for like what four days. Don't forget to shop our skincare. Please. <laughs> but yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me if you want to see on my channel. I'll definitely bring that to you guys. I will be doing a moving in vlog when I'm moving into college because I have a surprise for you guys. And I just oh my god, I've always wanted to do a moving in vlog, but last year when I moved into college, um, it was really um hectic. Like, let me end this video so I can go do the rest of these orders. But yeah, love you guys. Peace.